I'm Ross Bailey here with Yamaha Music London and we're going to show you the new Line 6 PowerCab 212 Plus. PowerCab 212 Plus is the latest addition to the PowerCab family and this is a great way to amplify your digital modelling device or preamp based rig. This is 500 watts and has three distinct modes. So it's a standard FRFR cabinet. So if you're used to using that kind of system, uh, there's plenty of wattage and with it being a 212, um, all the kind of width and girth that you need. There's also an impulse response mode. So it comes preloaded with impulse responses, which is really handy if you're using a modeler that doesn't support impulse responses or doesn't have any loaded, uh, but you can turn the cabinet simulation off. Use one of the built-in impulse responses or load one of your own in um, and you get that ability as well. But there's also a speaker mode. Now this is really cool for um, anyone that's maybe used to a valve amp and loves the idea of digital modeling but has never quite got on with the FRFR or the impulse response side of things. With the speaker mode you get to choose from 12 different speakers and these are all classic speakers that you'll know and love. Uh, so you can really can match the amp up with the right speaker um, or mix and match to, to get different tones. But what it's doing is giving you that amp in the room feel and sound. So the interaction with the guitar um, and the speaker like you would a real amp in the room. It's difficult to explain and a little bit later on we'll try and do a comparison uh, with the two sounds between an impulse response in the room and uh, the speaker mode in the room. So hopefully you'll get a good idea of the difference. Like I said, it's, it's something you kind of need to experience in the room yourself because it's definitely a visceral uh, interaction with the guitar and the amp. But the brilliant thing with PowerCab is you have the option. So if you like FRFR or impulse responses, um, you get it to do it that way. If you're used to a, a real amp in the room, then you can use that as well. So it's super versatile. Um, with it being full range, you can also play acoustic guitar through this um, or even use it as a vocal monitor. So super versatile, all of the options. So let's run through a few little uh, cool tricks that you can do. So with this preset, we're gonna start with some really nice, simple stereo effects. Um, so I've got kind of a gainy sound here. We'll chuck on some ping pong kind of stereo delay. Maybe a double tracker, um, so basically I'm going to sound like I'm two guitar players at the same time. But we can get a little bit more interesting than that. So with this preset, you can actually separate the two speakers so you can have them both the same or you can have different ones. So on one side here, I've got like an American clean sound. On the other, more of a British kind of just on the edge of breakup thing. And there's a different speaker on each side to complement those sounds. So that's a really good way of kind of um, making you sound wider or filling out the frequencies. You can have more of a scoop sound on one side um, and, and more of a mid-focus sound on the other side. And a lot of people do that, use multiple amps at the same time. But with that as well, um, and I'm using Helix for this and with the power of the Helix routing, uh, you can actually do a wet dry rig with basically one 212 combo, which is really cool. So I'll add maybe some delay to the clean side. What I've got now, I've got a harmonic tremolo and uh, one of our own sweep echoes, and this is just on the British side, so it's gonna shift the other one. Um, best with this, by the way, if you're kind of listening on headphones, you'll get all that full stereo feel. So, here we go.
so you can get some really cool sounds out of this straight off the bat. Now, what I want to do is try and kind of, like I said earlier, give you a demonstration. Um, it's very difficult to get this across on camera, like I say, but we've got a couple of mics in the room, and this is hopefully going to be um, a good indication of the difference between being in the room with speaker mode and being in the room with using IRs. Now, I mean, I've used uh, impulse responses a lot live through an FRFR system, and it sounds fantastic, and it's a really good way to keep your sound consistent. Um, and it's ultimately what you're going to be hearing out front. So uh, it's a good barometer to see you know, how that room's sounding uh, on any particular gig, or if you're in the studio, it's super useful. But if you are used to hearing an amp behind you, um, it's a completely different story. So how we've got this set up, I'm going to switch between the speaker mode and IR mode. Um, and they're very similar speakers uh, that are being modeled for each one. But the difference with the IR is using this, um, it, it's what you're going to hear is how it would sound in the room using a mic'd up amp um, versus having the actual amp behind you. I hope that makes sense. Um, uh, but here we go. So this is kind of the amp in the room sound. response. And if I just switch between those real quick for you. kind of the same experience or a similar experience to what I'm getting in the room. So in the speaker mode, there's a lot more air moving. Um, it, it certainly feels a lot more immediate. Uh, while the impulse response is by no means a bad sound, it sounds fantastic. That is what I would expect to hear if I was monitoring with in-ears or maybe back through uh, a wedge if my amp was quiet or under the stage or in a control, uh, you know, I'd be listening in a control room with the amp in the live room. On the back panel, you've got all the connections you're ever going to need, regardless of what kind of kit you're using. So you've got jack inputs, XLR inputs, uh, there's digital in and out as well, uh, USB, so you can actually rig it up to a computer and edit all the stuff via the PowerCab edit software, which is free from line6.com. Um, and you've also got another connection called L6 Link. So I'm currently using a Helix Floor, and if you have a Helix Floor, LT, or Rack, you can do this. So I've got a preset here, I'm just gonna go through four sounds real quick. So clean. Little bit of crunch. Some filth. And then more filth. Now what's happening is um, with one cable, I'm coming out of the L6 Link uh, output on Helix to the L6 Link input on PowerCab. What that's actually doing, that's sending a full stereo signal of one cable and it's also controlling PowerCab. So between just those four sounds, I'm changing the speaker. So each one of those four sounds actually has a different speaker mode on it and potentially a really useful thing. So you don't necessarily need to switch between too many presets to get different sounds. You can still do that uh, with any device that has MIDI because you do have MIDI in and out and it takes uh, program changes and continuous control messages as well. So like I say, super versatile and, uh, and just a lot of good fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information on any of the Power Cab range or any other Line 6 product, check out the Yamaha Music London website. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.